Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. As you can see down below, we're going to be talking about something that I am, but I often get told that I possibly can't be. There is no way you can't be that. We're going to be talking about being an introvert and also what signs introverts look for in partners. And if you're not an introvert and maybe you are with somebody who's an introvert, this might be a good video to watch so that it helps you understand your person a little bit more. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. But before we do, kindly click the subscribe button, like this video, please, at some point during this video, like this video, show it some love and also subscribe to the channel. Also click that bell. Click that bell, that's yeah. Click the bell so that you know every single time I upload. As for that, let's get into the video. One of the things that I get told quite a lot is that, oh, are you an introvert? How can you be an introvert? You seem like so much more of an extrovert. There's no way you could be an introvert. Okay, um, what about me says to you that I am not an introvert? This is one of my biggest, 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 biggest problems. But I feel like a lot of the time, because I'm on social media, because I'm on Instagram and I'm on YouTube and I'm always talking and seem like I'm in a great space and yada, 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 that people would automatically assume that I probably have this extroversion, extroverted uh, personality, when in reality, when they see me, I'm actually quite reserved and I'm quite like mm. so people get quite surprised when they see me and they're like eh, I thought I would see you like this 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 and jump jump da, 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 da. and oh, so excited and so excitable I'm not that I'm not and I know that based on what you may see online especially on YouTube you might think that she's probably an extrovert I'm not I'm talking to a camera even though I know that you guys are behind this camera because I talk to y'all every day I do but I'm talking to a camera at the end of the day and I'm alone in my house so you need to I mean, yeah but we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into I'm gonna make you understand if you are not an introvert what kind of qualities introverts have that you can see that are there that will make it clear just in case you have a friend who you feel like ah, my friend is and like my friend sometimes your friend ain't got no snacks sometimes she's just an introvert and it's who she is we're gonna get into the pointers that I have laid out that are quite common based on many videos that I've watched and also just based on who I am really some of them were really really easy to uh, write down because it's who I is it's who I be it's what I'm about so let's get into point number one <laughs> so let's do the obvious one right introverts enjoy being alone we love being alone. I got Tandy in the house today. That's fine. But a lot of the time, I spend prolonged periods of time alone. Why? This helps me regenerate, right? This helps me fuel up on strength, energy. You know, I enjoy being alone because I work better alone. I enjoy being alone because I'm in my space. I'm more uh, comfortable. I'm more secure when I'm alone. I do not like being around groups of people. I do not like being out and about for long, prolonged periods of time. It's going to lead to my point as to why I don't like that. But introverts typically just enjoy being alone and a lot of the time uh, to introverts who have friends who are extroverted or are ambiverts they don't quite understand why all the time you were in the house last week and the week before and the week before that why why can't we just go out blah 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 listen it's just who I is. It's just who I as oh, about. Okay. I enjoy being alone. I enjoy being in my space and I enjoy, I get a kick out of it. I'm at my most comfortable when I'm alone. So introverts, that's a fact. I feel like that's an obvious people know this about introverts. We just enjoy being alone a lot of the time. It ain't got nothing to do with you, but everything to do with me. And that's just how it is. It be like that sometimes, you know, catch me outside. So one of the reasons why I said we enjoy being alone and we don't like being outside and socializing and being around people too often and whatever is this. We rapidly get drained. We get drained quite a lot. And I know an extrovert or an ambivert is sitting there thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah but I also get drained in social situations too. I get drained. This is the thing. We get overly drained. It gets to a point where it's just like so much. It takes 
it out of me physically. I cannot, like, let me, let me give you an example, okay? A couple of weeks ago, I had a party here, and party. I had a picnic here with my girlfriends. I knew that my girlfriends were gonna spend the night. I knew that for a large amount of hours, I am going to be around, at the very least, three other people in my home. Number one, this, the few days before that gave me a whole lot of anxiety. I had to channel myself and my thoughts to say, okay, you know what? I want this. I want this. This is what I want to do. Okay. I want to have fun. I want to have whatever. But a lot of the time, all I could think about is the fact that I know I'm going to have a good time with them, but I really would like them to leave as soon as possible. <laughs> And this is no shade or whatever to my friends. They know who I am. Um, I just don't like overly socializing and whatever. And when I say I don't like people, this shouldn't be um, offensive or taken offensively by any of you watching this. Introverts just generally like being enclosed. We are... Uh, we're inward. Everything about us is inward. So being around people for long periods of time is actually quite exhausting to us. It rapidly drains us. And I remember when they left, the day that they left, uh, they slept over for one night. The day that they left, I was parked on my couch the rest of that afternoon. And they left at around 11. We went to breakfast together and then they left around 11 o'clock. In the morning and I was parked on my couch all afternoon I couldn't cook I couldn't do anything I was just like I needs to sleep and I remember having a conversation with Mbali my friend and I was just like bro I need to sleep yo like let's talk later let's do whatever because I felt so drained and I felt like I needed that energy back so introverts get rapidly drained it's not just like hey i'm tired yo yo i'm tired eh? i went to conga and i went to wherever and i had a busy weekend and therefore i'm tired no we any social interaction that involves us having to communicate with more than one person is a lot to us so it drains us so much that we actually need time to actually <laughs> regenerate and regain all that strength and energy and lost energy and bring it back up again. That's pretty much us, man, in a nutshell. All right, that leads me to my next point. We actually enjoy very small groups of social interaction and I'm talking about one person. A lot of the time, introverts enjoy being around just one person because when we get to communicate and talk with one person, we feel like we can go deeper into the conversation. We feel like we can get more out of the conversation. We feel like we are at a space where we can also give of ourselves just sufficiently enough so that we don't have to feel drained or it doesn't get to a point where we feel some type of way or all of that. We just need one other person and we're fine. We're fine. This is why in social situations or social settings, events, um, uh, panels, blah, 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 introverts are going to struggle. And I know, I know that I've been invited to speak on a panel later on this month. And I know I'm already stressed out about it right now because I am going to be in such a difficult place mentally. So many people. Anxiety is going to be on 1,000. I know, but it's for a good cause and I have to do it. But introverts, generally, we just like one-on-one. -on -one. At events, we just curl away at the, at the, at the, at the corner of the room. And it's, it's not like we're we, we angry or we don't want to be there. Well, chances are we don't want to be there. But it's not like we're angry or we're some type of way or now you're looking at us as an extrovert and you're just like, uh-uh, yo, why don't go away, get us snacks, where it's us snacks. It's not that. It's just that we... Uh, work better, we socialize better when we just socialize with one person. Too many people is just too much for us. And it's so, so draining. This is why a lot of the time I never used to attend events and all of that and blah, blah. I would always sideswipe them or not go. Or when I, when my sister wants me to go out and all of that, she knows some days I'll say no. And some days I'll say yes. And it'd be like that sometimes. We just do not like more than one-on-one uh, -on -one social situations. If it's a bunch of people, we're in trouble.
we're basically in trouble. And if we have to be there, we're basically in trouble. Weddings, funerals, blah, 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 family functions, yada, 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 we're in trouble. And what normally happens at the end of that day is we drained as fuck. <laughs> we drained. And now, now we just, it's a mess. It's a mess. Else. What do you even mean? So another thing about introverts is that we do not overly share a lot about ourselves. Now, this might be contradictory because you might think, oh, I just got a YouTube channel and whatever. Yeah, but what I'm sharing with you is not necessarily stuff that's in here, right? So we don't overly share a lot about ourselves. Yes, you might see, you know, might know a bit about my life and my family members, who's who in the zoo and all of that, but you don't necessarily know what's going on internally. And this also happens with friends, with anybody who's around us. We don't typically share too much of ourselves. The only time we start to share or whatever is when we get to a point of extreme comfort. So with the two, three, four friends that I have that I share stuff with, I'm at my extreme comfort level with them. It's just how it is. But with everybody else, people might look at me and be like, yo, man, it's such a struggle to get to know you. You seem like such a closed book. Or you seem so intimidating because you don't even speak much or whatever. You don't share bits and bits of yourself and whatever, whatever. It ain't like that. We just, that's just how I'm wired. That's just how I'm wired. I don't share bits and pieces about my life because I don't feel the need to share it. And it makes me very uncomfortable. And for me, as an introvert, it makes me feel like I'm open up to scrutiny or I'm open up to judgment when I share too much about myself. So, I just don't. I just don't. And not that I don't want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> not that I don't want to, but I just physically cannot. I cannot. It's just not my vibes, not my steez, it's not my job. <laughs> this, is a, this is a contestable one, but introverts are not fans of fun. Fun. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fun. Now, before we all go crazy and the extroverts are just like, Enevela, Enevela, wait, wait. We do enjoy being out every blue moon. We do. We do, but we just, social situations just take a lot out of us as introverts. So a lot of the time, being in a friendship or like where I have a best friend who's an extrovert, a lot of the time they just won't, they struggle to, I've got friends who are extroverts, sure, but they'll struggle, most of my friends are actually introverts. I feel like Balisa is an extrovert, my sister's an extrovert, but a lot of the time they fail to, um, reconcile why I just like being home. Like, I really just like being home. That is why a lot of the time in my videos, vlogs and whatever, you're gonna catch me home in my house. Because that's, this, this is my safe space. This is where I enjoy being. This is where I'm at all the time. There's nothing not normal about this for me. Um, it doesn't mean that we are in the house as introverts all the time. We do venture out into the big, bad, cold world at some point, but like when you tell me you're going to a party or whatever, it doesn't do for me what it does for you or what you think it'll do for me. You know what I'm saying? It just won't. You'll just tell me like, yo, so, so, blah, blah. I remember, case in point example, I went to Rockets a couple of weeks ago with Balesa. I thought we were going to be at Rockets for a couple of drinks and then Bowie's, right? That's what I thought in the afternoon. Little did I know that Palisa had coerced me into a trap. Into a trap, okay? A whole entire trap. When we got there, she tells me that uh, Lamise Holworthy is going to be playing. And now she wants to see Lamise Holworthy play. And she remembers, I know she's going to watch this video. She will remember at some point I said, oh, bro, can, like, where, where can we go, bro? And at some point I was slithered away in a corner, even in my shots, you can see in that vlog, that vlog of that weekend, you can actually see that I'm actually in a certain spot by myself and I'm actually recording everybody around me because I was just like there. I was quiet, I was, I slithered into my little corner and that's what I do all the time, okay? It be like that sometimes. That's what I do all the freaking time and that's what introverts do. So we can say that introverts are not fun. Uh, we just don't like the whole, do I have to socialize all the time for who, for what, for... Uh, why? Why? 
you know? So it's, it's, it's just, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> it be like that sometimes, okay? Catch me outside. That's who I am, man. That's who I am. Um, introverts like to process before we act. So we like to think about things. Yeah? We like to overanalyze, overassess, you know? So a lot of the time, this conflicts with, um, it's very hard for introverts to be completely assertive you, we, we can learn it over a, a period of time, you know, uh, changing our behaviors and mannerisms and whatever to, towards all of that. We can learn all this stuff over time. However, it's really, really hard for introverts to be completely assertive because we take so much time getting into anything about anything, right? When you fight with somebody, you want to process Take a moment. I had a I had a a, a, a disagreement with Palisa a couple of days ago, and I was just like, okay, cool. Then I took a moment, and then I was like, okay, let's just take a moment. Then I processed, and then I went back, and I'm like, let's talk about it. So it's just pretty much we don't act on a whim about anything. We love to plan. <laughs> introverts are not like extroverts in this regard because extroverts love to let's go on a whim spontaneous yeah 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 i am not i love to plan i love man i'm planning a trip with my friends right now i've been planning it for the past two months okay so i love to plan and i love to have time to process and think about things and that's what introverts do we do it all the time it'd be like that sometimes the last That's point it. I would say is that introverts enjoy working alone. Now, for this, this is very easy for me to give you an example. Yeah, understand that. In my case, YouTube, I'm alone. Half the time, I am alone. In the vlogs here and there, you'll catch me with my friends. Catch me outside. How about that? That's fine. But a lot of the time, I'm working alone. This is one of the reasons why collaborating with other content creators for me is very, very difficult. I need to think about it and think about it and my anxiety is just like boop, 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 boop. my anxiety meter is just like girl girl you sure about that maybe just not maybe not maybe not that's just pretty much how i roll a lot of the time uh we enjoy working alone so introverts are people who you know designers you know who'll do like a a, a lot of the time who'll do like websites and and developers and that kind of thing you know they enjoy working alone well to a certain degree there but uh they'll enjoy working alone people who enjoy working alone that's why for me in high school and in varsity group work was the death of me i could not do it because i could not sit with just one person, have a deep conversation, analyze it, come up with a solution, blah, 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 without the conversation changing because there is four other people now. You, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, <laughs> at this point, what do I do? What do I even do, bro? You know? So uh, we enjoy working alone, editing, working alone, you're recording. I, I enjoy doing stuff alone. And, and I mean, I guess it'd be like that sometimes, I guess. So those are the qualities of an introvert. This is who we are. This is how we do things, okay? This portion of the video, we're going to talk about what introverts look for in a partner. Or if you are not an introvert, you're an extrovert, and you, your partner is an introvert, but there's certain things and bits and pieces about them that you don't understand. Maybe listen, listen to this portion of the video. Maybe you might, I might help you out a little bit. Or if you're liking somebody, Okay, you're liking this person and you're just like, but this person's so different from me. They seem like an introvert. Let, let, just listen to this portion of the video so that you can understand that this is what they might require from you. And if you're willing to, then um, introverts look for somebody who respects their need not to want to socialize all the time. So now if you're an extrovert and you go out all the time, and you're out every weekend and now you're trying to drag your person to a function each and every single weekend and they are an introvert, it's not gonna work out. It's really not gonna work out. Introverts look for a partner who will understand. Not to say that you can't be with an extrovert as an introvert or vice versa. No, you can, but they need a person who will understand that my need to socialize all the time is not a thing. Your need to socialize all the time is a thing. But for me, I prefer being here. 
I preferred this space. And I know with me, it would get me into a lot of conflict in uh, previous relationships where they would want to go out and I'd just be like, but why though? Like, let's chill though. Let's chill, listen to some music, have a drink, let's relax. Why, why are we going out? Why must we be in crowds where we're getting pushed around and oh, oh. No. So they look for people who will respect the fact that they just don't like to socialize all the time. It's just, it's not our thing. Maybe once every two months is fine. It's cool. It'll be like that sometimes, you know, being out amongst people, but not all the time, gents. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. One of the things that they look out for is definitely somebody who understands their sensitivity. Introverts are sensitive. Somebody who understands their sensitivity and does not make a mockery of it because a lot of the time extroverts are very bold and are very outward and are very assertive and are very whatever, whereas introverts tend to be a lot more sensitive. We tend to be, uh, we overthink things and we tend to be really, really in our feelings. We're inward, right? Everything about us is inward. So we tend to be really, really in our feelings about stuff. So... A lot of the time, we'll get called sensitive. And I know I would be mocked by family members. Oh, you're so sensitive. Oh, you're so sensitive. And it would hurt my feelings because, God damn it, this is who I am. What do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? So, um, so introverts really look for somebody who will handle their sensitivity with care and not mock it or make them um, feel like, oh, they're being too sensitive. Like, relax, bro. It ain't even that deep. It is. It is. That's who I is. It is that. Introverts, this is my most important one. Introverts look for people who understand that giving them space is imperative. We like our space. Okay? We like our space. We don't, we don't, we don't, you need to understand that, listen, just because you're an extrovert, you can't come here and say, yeah, but you know, she, she'll be okay with me. You know, as long as she's with me, she's fine, whatever. No. No, booty, booty, that is not how this whole procedure works, okay? At some point, we need our space, and it, it's more often than not. And I always keep saying this, I say this a lot to friends, to whatever, that I need my space. I need to take this weekend. I took this weekend off, and I was alone the whole weekend, and I didn't see anyone. And for the last two or three weekends, I've been seeing people, even though it's small groups or one person here, da 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 but... I felt so good this past weekend because it was just me in my house with Netflix and recording and all of that. And it felt really, really great. So introverts appreciate people who understand their need for space and their need to want to be alone and not see it as if they don't want to be around them. You know what I mean? Like, I need my space. I need you to be able to do your own thing. Like, go over there, do your own thing, and then we can come back after a couple of days or whatever, then we connect and do our thing together. But right now, I'm going to need you to just be over there somewhere. You know, give me some space, some, some, some space, some time, please. You know, and, and that's, we, we, we function better when we have a partner who understands our need for a long time and for space. Also, the last one would be um, people who, introverts look for people who uh, allow them to be themselves in a partner. Because it's already hard enough that we get judged so much because we're introverts. Oh, you're moody. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're this. First and foremost, a lot of the time, if I'm quiet... And I'm in the house and I'm with you. I'm quiet. I'm not angry. I'm not moody. I'm not whatever. I'm not. I am just quiet. That's just how it is. This is the most talking that I'll be doing today. Because I know after this, I'm going to feel tired. Okay? I woke up. I had to edit a video. And da -da -da -da, and da -da -da -da, and now I know I'm going to be tired after this video is done. You know what I mean? So it's just one of those things that sometimes we're just quiet because we just... Rishabu. We're not mad. We're not whatever. Don't take it personally when I am quiet. Don't take it personally when I do not want to answer the phone. Introverts do not like answering the phone. The only way you can cure this answering the phone bit or speaking over the phone bit is if you do it more as an introvert. And for me, I learned how to do that by speaking a lot with my friends. So with my friends, I speak a lot to them over the phone every day, but I cannot stand 
a call from somebody else that I do not speak to on a regular basis. I'm just like, but why are you calling me? Why are you calling me when you can just text me? Or you can email me or whatever. Like making a call to a restaurant to order a meal is hard for me. It's hard because I, I just feel like, oh, I hope he doesn't get it right. I hope I'm not bothering them. Or I hope I'm whatever, whatever. Those are the thoughts that are going on in my head. I'm thinking like, I hope I'm not bothering. I hope I'm not disturbing. I hope, da, 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 da. I hope they get it right. I hope I say it right. All that kind of stuff. So we just don't like being on the phone. We really, really don't like it because it makes us antsy, okay? It heightens our anxiety and it makes us feel some type of way. That's pretty much it. That is the best that I can advise you on in terms of what introverts are like, what they look for in partners. And um, more than anything, don't judge somebody just because you see them on YouTube or see them out and about in spaces and whatever. And you're just like, I didn't know that you, I, I really thought you were an extrovert. I mean, your channel and whatever, whatever. Someone once went as far as to say that, ah, please don't lie. You're an introvert. You're an extrovert. I'm sorry, are you telling me about my personality? Are you telling me about what is bio, genetically, chemically, genetically, what is chemically engineered in my head about who I am? Like, this is who I am. This is who, you know, I didn't develop this over a couple of years or, or harness it or nurture it or whatever. It's always who I've been. So for someone to actually come and say that, ah, please don't lie. You could never be an introvert. You're an extrovert. I'm sorry. It's insulting. For somebody to come to, or an extrovert to come to an introvert and say, oh, you're too sensitive, or you always want to be alone all the time, or you're boring, or you're sensitive, or you're, oh, I said that, um, uh, you, there's no way in possible hellish that you could potentially, you could be an uh, introvert, you're definitely an extrovert. How are you going to come tell me about me, though? you guys enjoyed this video uh, i hope it helps you understand your introverted friends or family members or co-workers or whatever a little bit more um but yeah i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have please like the video right now and if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you can see that you can relate to me now because then please subscribe and join the family and i will definitely see you in the next video okay from my introverted self